and welcome to today's video. I am back from vacation. I am so excited to be playing with makeup today. Look what was waiting for me when I got home. We are gonna create two looks and swatch and have some fun with the recently de-influenced palette from Bella Beauté Bar. I'm pumped. There are some really beautiful shadows in this palette. I wanna talk about it. I wanna create, I wanna play. Let's jump into it. <music> This is the newest palette launching from Bella Beauté Bar. I love this brand. I'm so excited that they sent me this palette so that I could swatch it and get some looks up for y'all, test it, let you know if this is the great quality that I expect from the brand. This is gonna launch on the 20th. So I will have all the information down in the description box for you. You can use code Heather to save all on their site even if not this palette if something else i will have all the information the times everything like that down in the description box but we did get a sneak peek of this palette a while ago and i really was drawn to the packaging as soon as i saw it i was like yep i'm gonna have to buy that palette i think it's so cute to have this like vampire influencer in front of their ring light recently de-influenced instead of deceased and then we have the little shadow in the background with the horns i just it's cute i love a theme i love a theme and i feel like this theme is super duper fun we do have the nice mirror in here that i'm used to seeing with the brand but I want to show you a close-up and swatches of this palette so let's do that <laughs> i love 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 the bella beauté bar formula so this palette has eight multi-chromes and seven mattes it's launching on wednesday september 20th at 12 p.m eastern time it's going to be 69 dollars before the use of a code I did my best to swatch these shadows and to show you the swatches in different lighting with my camera and with my iPhone so that you could really kind of see the shifts, the sparkle, things like that. I think we have some really, really cool textures in here. And I just want to create two looks today. I want to play, I want to see, is this the Bella Beauté bar? that I know and love. I think the color story is really, really cool and I'm into it. I wanna play, I wanna have a good time with it. I think we're gonna be able to create some really pretty looks and then we'll kind of talk about my overall thoughts at the end of the video. I do have a Bella Beauté Bar playlist here on my channel. So if you wanna check that out, any of their other stuff, you definitely can. I can link that in the description box too, along with everything else. Any information I have will be down there. So definitely check, but I'm gonna zoom y'all in. I'm going to throw down an eyeshadow primer and we will create our first look. Okay, so jumping into this palette, I really want to use Feud. <laughs> the names crack me up. They really do. I want to use Feud. This shade looks really beautiful, and it looks really unique as well. I did look at this palette next to some of my other Bella Beauté Bar palettes, and I don't feel like there were any, like, duplicate shades. So, I'm excited to play with this one, and I will say this shade just really stood out to me. I'm like, that looks really unique. So I'm going to start with this, and I'm going to put this, oh, look at that beautiful orange. I want to put this right here in kind of the first half of my socket, the inner part of my socket. I'm not going to take it all out here. I'm just going to keep it right in here and like the front two thirds kind of really just kind of like packing first and then slowly, softly blending. 
Okay, so I love how like blown out this orange is. I want to go in now to this shade right down here called Monitas. <laughs> this dark green. I was really excited to see a dark green in this palette. So I'm going to put this in kind of the outer two thirds of my socket right here. So it's going to come up. It's going to come down to the lid, to the lash line. And then I'm going to blend it out. So we're going to have kind of this like pumpkin look, you know, like a sideways pumpkin though, where the green is coming out of the side rather than the top. I am loving that orange so much though. I think that looks so cool. So I'm just going to take my time once I have that green shadow pressed right where I want it. And I'm going to take my time blending down, out, and around. Okay, I'm loving the way this is looking, but I want to pull in another color and I want to keep it deep for the lower lash line. So we're going to go into Energy Vampire right here. Now I'm using my Singe brushes and I'm using my VK Beauty brushes for this look. So I will link those in the description box as well. Every, everything, everything I can possibly put in the description box, I will put there. But this is a really pretty deep, dark purple matte. So I wanna kinda just fade that right under the lower lash line and kind of wrap it over here to the green as well. And then just back and forth. It's such an intense purple but it's blending so easily. Okay, I really, really, really wanna put this multi-chrome all on the lid. I wanna give it its moment to shine. I wanna put it like from here right up to this green mat. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put down some of my uh, Shimmer Stay from the Love Beauty Bar. You don't have to do whatever you want. I just wanna use some of it to make this extra, extra, extra intense. But it's such a beautiful like shift in this shadow. I'm sure you saw it in the swatches, but I just really, really, really want to wear this shade. And so that's what we're going to do. This is depleted. So we're going to do depleted. And then I think for the inner corner, we're going to go in with viral. Now, I know this may look like just a white to pink multi-chrome or something like that, which can be beautiful. But again, you probably saw in the swatch, it really has this like fieriness to it, to where it also has this like orangey tone. So I want to use that on the inner corner. It's not going to be a ton of surface area for it to like really sew this shift, but I think it's just going to be really special, especially as I go about my day, it catches the light. It's going to be perfection. So let me throw down my shimmer stay first. We'll do the lid, then we'll do the inner corner. Okay, I'm so happy to be putting this on my lid. I think this is such a pretty shade. Oh, look at that sparkle. I love that. So I'm just going to pack that right on top of that shimmer stay just so that we can really, really, really get the drama with this. I'm going to just tap it on like so love that love 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 that shift okay I need to stop saying how much I love that shift <laughs> I am loving like the Halloween vibes of this look it's like pumpkin glam with a little purple a little multi-chrome obviously I am here for it I've got that shade Viral on my brush. I did spray my brush after I picked up the shadow. And there she is. There she is. I'm just going to kind of wrap it right here down to my lower lash line like this. And I think we're just going to leave the look here. I am really feeling it. I think it's fun. I like the transition between the orange to the green. I like the little bit of purple we have down here. 
I love this multi-chrome. So this is going to be our first look with the palette. Every single shade, I think, performed beautifully. Oh, I love. I'm loving, loving, loving this look so far. So I'm going to put down primer on my other eye and we will create a different look. Okay, we're ready for look number two. I don't know if anything will top this for me. I'm just, I feel like I could step in to Hocus Focus and be like the fourth sister. You know, the fourth Sanderson sister with this look. It's just giving every fall vibe I want it to give. You know, what more could I ask for? But... I want to play with more shades in the palette. So we are going to start with lash light, lash lighting, lash lighting, lash lighting, lash lighting. I'm sorry I had to say that so much, but I, I, need, I needed to, okay? I needed to make it sound right in my head. So I'm going to grab this, and this is going to go all in our socket, all in the socket. Okay, let's put it here. That's such a pretty like raspberry shade. Yeah, I'm into that. Okay, all right. I'm actually gonna bring it up kind of high out here just because I have deep set eyes and I want to kind of open them a little if I can. I wanna go in to paid partnership right here and then I also want to use Authenticity, this really pretty shade. So we're going to kind of use these three mattes. But I'm going to do Paid Partnership. And I'm going to put that right on my lower lash line. This really pretty, like, orangey brown tone. It looks like such a fall leaf color. You know, where the leaf isn't brown when it turns, but it's not quite that vibrant orange. Just really pretty. So we're going to pull that right in here. Okay, so I've got authenticity. And I'm going to press that right on the lash line and a little up in the outer corner. And then also right on the inner corner. So we're going to have like this deeper purple right in here. I just started with a little bit of shadow because I just kind of want to show you my placement. I'm going to add in a little bit more for some extra depth right there. And then same right here. I'm just going to get a little more on my brush and then take my time blending. Okay, I'm pulling this out a bit because I really want this look to be blown out. So I'm going to blend maybe a little further out than normal. But I'm just kind of feeling it today. I'm, I'm really feeling it. But if you want the look, like if you want to maybe be inspired by this color combo I'm doing, you definitely don't have to pull the shadow out as far or go up as high. Okay, we are going to go in with some beautiful multi-chromes. I want to go in with these two shades right here. I wish I could use every shade in the palette today. I just cannot. I cannot. So I want to spend, I want to spend some time with my fam. So we're going to do two looks today and I'll definitely be using it more and more before I like follow up and put this in a speed review video later on but today we're gonna play with these two shades we have backlash and digital zombie okay I've got the shade backlash I put down my shimmer stay in the center and I am really just going to press my shadow on right in the center in between where we put that deeper purple all the way up to where we put that berry and I love the sparkle in the shadow I love the like oh uh, I don't know the shift the contrast in tones we have after I kind of press it on then I just kind of blend a little bit maybe take a little bit of the sparkle up and then down here oh 
I love, I love. All right, we're gonna take that digital zombie shade, really pretty blue purple type of type of shadow. It reminds me of like a shade from the Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette, but if you made that like more pigmented, more intense in the way that eyeshadows are, that highlighters just aren't. It's, it's kind of like that and I'm so into it. Uh, of course, I'm wearing the Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette today, just if you're wondering. <laughs> if you're wondering, it's a favorite still, even though I've had it for like over a year now, I think. It is a favorite, one of the best purchases I've made, honestly. But look at that. Did this look take an unexpected turn? Did y'all expect like it was gonna go like this? Because I'm so into it. I do wanna put on liner, I wanna put on a lash and come back. I mean, I think we only used one, two, three, five, so like 10 shades out of this palette. It is a 15 pan palette, but I'm really liking the way these looks are. So let me throw a liner. Let me throw on a bit of a lash and I will be back and we'll kind of talk about this palette. All right, y'all, here are both of our finished looks. Look one, we have our green, orangey, pumpkin eye. Over here, I don't even know what to call this one. Maybe like a Halloween alien eye, kind of like berry with these multi-chrome pops. I'm so super into both of them. I'm just feeling so great. I did throw on black eyeliner, Unearthly Supernatural Lash. I'm wearing my Unearthly Pop Blush with the Vamp Lip Liner. And then also from Bella Beauté Bar, I told you I'm wearing my Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette. And over top of that Vamp Lip Liner, I put on my House of Mirrors Lip Topper Lip Gloss just, you know, for more sparkle. I will link everything, all of that down in the description box. I'm so feeling my look though. I really enjoy both. I can't decide which one is a favorite. I'm leaning towards this orangey green eye. I really like the tone of this orangey shadow. So let's kind of talk about this palette because I think the quality of this is beautiful. I only have 10 of the shades on my eyes, of course, but I do know the brand. Whoop, not the, not this one. <laughs> I do know the brand really well. I really love their stuff. Now, if the brand did not send me this palette, I would have purchased it, of course. I think it's beautiful and I'm super, super happy to have it. I really like that you can do like a warm neutral look with this if you want to. We have those two orangey tones. If you do not like pull them up as high and kind of blown out as I did, you keep them a little lower. You pair them with maybe one of these pretty multi chromes. You can have a very warm uh, that's not too intense, but that is still super special. I know a lot of y'all really like that because you're not just able to wear whatever makeup you want to your job or whatever it is. So I feel like in that, in this palette, you do have those options. And then we also have some really fun colors. Uh, I just, the layout of this palette, I also really like. I feel if you don't know what to do, of course, I hopefully provided you with some inspiration. I know there are several other creators who made beautiful videos with this palette. I have not watched them, but I'm excited to now that I have tested this myself. If you look at this quad right here, that's a look. If you look at this quad right here, that's a look. This one right here, you can definitely break this down. You can kind of go like uh, row by row this way, you know, if you want to stick with those shades. I just think this is really fun. I think this is really well dolled out. I think the mattes work beautifully. I think the multi-chromes work beautifully. And I think they pair really well together. I'm super excited to play with this one some more. I just, I keep saying like, I love this look, but even the more I look at this one, I just feel like, 
I don't know, it's got alien-esque vibes and I'm kind of here for it. I'm feeling great. I hope you are feeling great. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. If you want my videos to continue showing up on your subscription feed, please do hit subscribe. I would appreciate it so, so much. I do have a new video coming tomorrow. Every Sunday we sit down, we judge new makeup releases together. So that will be up tomorrow. Super excited about that. I've got a new video coming Monday. So lots of new videos on the way. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you again for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.